Hi Audacious Church, good to see you today, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Um, I'd like to start just by reading um, a passage of scripture to you from Habakkuk 3. It's Habakkuk's prayer, but it's great to read this prayer in the context of the whole book. So there's only three uh, chapters to read. It's not a great deal, easily fitted in in the morning. Um, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, O Lord. Renew them in our day, in our time make them known, and in wrath remember mercy. God came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and his praise filled the earth. His splendour was like the sunrise. Rays flashed from his hand where his power was hidden. Plague went before him, pestilence followed in his steps. He stood and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The ancient mountains crumbled and the age-old hills collapsed. His ways are eternal. I saw the tents of Cushion in distress, the dwellings of Midian in anguish. Were you angry with the rivers, O Lord? Was your wrath against the streams? Did you rage against the sea when you roared with your horses and your victorious chariots? You uncovered your bow. You called for many arrows. You split the earth with rivers, the mountains saw you and writhed. Torrents of water swept by, the deep roared and lifted its waves on high. Sun and moon stood still in the heavens at the glint of your flying arrows, at the lightning of your flashing spear. In wrath you strolled the earth and in anger you threshed the nations. You came out to deliver your people to save your anointed one. You crushed the leader of the land of wickedness. You stripped him from head to foot. With his own spear, you pierced his head when his warriors stormed out to scatter us, gloating as though about to devour the wretched who were in hiding. You trampled the sea with your horses, churning the great waters. I heard and my heart pounded. My lips quivered at the sound and decay crept into my bones, and my legs trembled. Yet I wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on to the heights. It's brilliant, brilliant piece of scripture that has, has meant a lot to me for many years. And um, in the notes in today's devotional, if you read those, I, I recount a, um, a conversation that I had with a friend at the time. And it, it, it it was just one of those conversations that crept up kind of out of nowhere. And it was, well, how do you know you really said, how do you know you're really a Christian? And I remember telling him, telling me testimony, uh, sharing what I'd gone through. Um, and he had a kind of belief, but he was really beginning to question. So I, I, again, I talked a little bit further about being filled with the Spirit of God. And I said, at one point, I said, do you know, I said, it gets to the point where you really know what you know, what you know, if you know what I mean. You know deep down inside. And the way I described it to him at the time, I said, it's deeper than my bones, if there is such a thing. <laughs> um, and this is what I'm reminded of in Habakkuk, because Habakkuk starts the first two chapters by complaints. He has two complaints. And, you know, in your own time, uh, good to read them. But more importantly, look at God's response each time. God just reminds Habakkuk who he is. God reminds Habakkuk what he's capable of. And I know that where all those uh, years back, when I was trying to explain to somebody how I know that God uh, was, was in my life and in my heart, um, in terms I didn't really have the words for. And... Do you know, I think that when I read this passage, and it's always been, as I said, one of my favourites, it's it's God reminding Habakkuk who you are, Habakkuk, who you are in me. And 
in in chapter three, you see Habakkuk recounting the things that he remembered God had done. And he finishes it off by saying, though the fig tree doesn't blossom, and though there are no grapes on the vines, in other words, even though if my circumstances facing me are telling me a very different story, he says in verse 18, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my saviour. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He goes back to what he knows is right. God reminds him and suddenly it's like the veil's lifted. It's like the goggles have come off, the blindfold's off. God, I can see again. I can see who you are. I can see my circumstances for what they are. And my faith is in you. You are my deliverer. You are my strength. You are my shield. And if I could leave you with that today, the Lord is your strength. He makes your feet like hinds feet, like the feet of a deer. He enables you to go on to the heights. In other words, a God is your enabler. He'll take you to places you didn't think were possible when you look at what's in front of you. So today, um, just grab a hold of that, if nothing else, that God is your deliverer, that whatever you're facing, he wants to remind you of who he is in your life. Thank you, audacious. God bless.